It's tasteless, odorless, and invisible, but the effects are obvious. High fluoride levels in water cause teeth discoloration, and in extreme cases, bone decay. But a solution, ironically, comes from bones of a different kind. Specialists working for a nonprofit humanitarian organization in southeast Ethiopia have figured out a way to absorb fluoride in water by using cow skeletons. The idea is that water containing high fluoride levels sticks to the animal bones when put through a filter instead of harming human bones. The process to make the bone char takes weeks. We're inside the furnace, and as you can imagine, it smells awful in here. It smells like death. They just lit the flame, and these bones will essentially be baking at temperatures of 350 degrees Celsius for at least 10 days until these bones are whittled down into bone char. The char is then ground, sifted, and washed. If fluoride levels are too high, a more expensive chemical alternative is provided. Half of the battle with this program has been convincing communities that it's safe to drink water filtered by bones. When we take this product to the local community, we were facing challenges. They asked if this was a Muslim or Christian slaughterhouse. We finally convinced them that this was only from cattle. The char is then brought to rural communities to be added to water supplies. The Rift Valley has an unusually high level of fluoride because the volcanic rock naturally produces the chemical. The World Health Organization recommends fluoride levels to be around 1.5 milligrams per liter. In this village, the level is 9. The excess levels of fluoride causes a chronic condition called fluorosis. 67-year-old Fitala Fayesa suffers from it, as do most of his nine children. I feel back pain and joint pain. I can't sit down or stand up properly. I also feel pain all over my body. The effects of fluorosis are irreversible, but increasing calcium intake can help. 97,000 people have been helped by the CHAR program, but 16 million are affected. This project is just scratching the surface. But for those in this village, safer drinking water is making a difference. Leah Harding, Al Jazeera, Mojo in southeast Ethiopia.